Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great week and staying safe. I recently found this workshop video I recorded a few years ago in my archive and I thought it could still be helpful to many of you so I decided to share it. Let's dive into this hands-on tutorial to set up Apache Spark using Docker. By the end of this video you'll have your Spark environment ready to go in no time and interactively create a Spark program then we can instantly check the execution result on the spot and that can be achieved using a tool called Spark Shell by running it in our local environment from the Apache Spark Docker image. Let's get started. So first of all, we have to make sure that we have Docker and Docker Compose installed in our machine by checking their versions. Then also we can check our systems version and how much we have RAM and it should be at least 4 GB to serve the purpose well. Then we can create our dedicated Docker network. So after that we can set an IP address to be assigned to our containers in the Docker Compose file. And defining a Docker network in this way, instead of defining it inside the Docker Compose file, allows us to use the same Docker network in another Docker Compose to IML file in the future. Okay, now we have to create this Docker Compose IML file to be built on top of the Spark based version 2 Docker image, which is based on the Alpine OS. But we should pull this image first. And now, after creating the Docker Compose file, we can build it by using this command, docker compose up dash dash build dash capital D. So after we build up this Docker Compose file, the Spark Master and Spark Worker will have their own containers. Then we can type Docker images to verify that the Spark base image exists. We can also type docker ps to see if each of the Spark Master and Spark Walker containers are running on TCP ports. And finally, we can now start a Spark shell from this Spark Master container, so we can use this command to do that. Then as you can see a welcome banner and an interactive shell so we can execute commands and immediately get their result for example declaring an immutable or a constant variable using val command so a called list and assigning a list of integers to it then we get a confirmation of this declaration as a result next we are declaring a constant variable called rdd short of resilient distributed data sets and assigning to it ST parallelize list. SC is short of Spark collection. So from SC, we parallelize our list. So now we can perform some actions from this RDD instance, such as RDD.count and get the size of the array as a result. Also RDD.collect and get the content of the array as a result and so on. Okay, now let's go back to the Docker Compose file and understand the code inside it. So inside this Docker Compose we have, the version is two and services. In our case, we have two services which are Spark Master and Spark Worker, and each one of them has its values or properties. So in Spark Master, we have these key value properties. For example, this is the image that we have already pulled, the host name and its value, the container name and its value, the supported ports list. In our case, we have three supported ports, and the memory limit is set to one gigabyte. In networks, we have Spark Network, IPv4 address and we've assigned this address then the command as you can see is as follows first we put the spark class path spark bin spark class 
then to org apache spark dot deploy master dot master like this and dash dash host is set to 0.0.0.0 to be accessed from any host address and finally extra hosts as you can see here we are just specifying the address of the spark worker service for linking them together so in spark worker now we have these key value properties the image is the same the host name is doc spark worker 101.local the container name is spark worker 101 and now this service depends on the spark master and its supported ports are just one port and memory limit again is one gigabyte in networks again there's spark network ipv4 address and for example i've assigned the following ip address and now the command is again we first specify the spark class path spark bin spark class then to orga apache spark deploy worker dot worker and the spark my spark master following with its third port and dash dash host is set to the spark worker ip address extra hosts also we are specifying the address of the spark master for linking them together finally we have networks and we are specifying the spark network with an external value set to true and that's it you've successfully set up apache spark using docker and explored its spark shell this setup is perfect for learning and testing spark in a local environment if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content see you in the next video